in just hours now. Jury selection is set to begin in Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial in New York City. It needs to be repeated. It's the first time in U.S. history that a former president will be on trial for criminal charges. Two sources with direct knowledge of the situation tell NBC News that 6,000 potential jurors will be subpoenaed to Manhattan criminal courts this week. Usually, it's about 4,000 jurors are calling in a week. More than 1,500 will be there today. Now, not all of the potential jurors, of course, are intended for the Trump trial, but the increase in numbers can be attributed to what's happening with the former president. Meanwhile, on Friday, Trump spoke to reporters during, during a joint appearance with House Speaker Mike Johnson down at Mar-a-Lago, and Trump said he intends to testify at the trial. I'm testifying. I tell the truth. I mean, all I can do is tell the truth. And the truth is that there's no case. They have no case. Despite those comments, Trump's attorneys have yet to confirm or deny whether he'll take the stand. Trump is accused of coordinating a hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels during the 2016 election to keep quiet about an alleged sexual encounter. Trump was charged with falsifying documents to cover up that payment. He denies the charges and denies ever having sex with Daniels. He spent the weekend on True Social railing uh, against the case. Unclear if he'll be holding his impromptu courtroom hallway news conferences. His attorneys don't want him to. Joining us now, MSNBC Justice and Legal Affairs Analyst Anthony Coley. He was the chief spokesman at the DOJ under Attorney General Merrick Garland. Anthony, good to see you this morning. So first, just, just walk us through what we should expect to see today. How does this jury selection process work? How long is it going to take? What are you looking out for? Good morning, Jonathan. Let me just start by saying this is a big day for Donald Trump, but it feels bigger than that. It feels like... Um, this moment that we've had like a season shift and that we're now in a season of accountability for Donald Trump. I think back, Jonathan, to January of this year where uh, he was found liable for uh, assaulting, defaming E. Jean Carroll. He owes her $90 million in February of this year. He's found liable for fraudulent business activity. He owes the people of New York $500 million. And then today, um, he is facing criminal prosecution for his efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. So it feels, Jonathan, like the legal walls are starting to close in on Donald Trump. In terms of the jury selection uh, today, he has one goal, and that is to identify one or two potential jurors, one or two potential jurors who can say not guilty when this case uh, reaches the deliberation uh, phase of the process. So I am looking for him to uh, try to see how he uses this process and also his physical presence in the courtroom to get that type of jury pool. Do you think he actually will testify? And if he does, does that do him more harm or good in your estimation? Yeah, I can't imagine that his lawyers are advising him to testify because Trump's allegiance to the fidelity to the truth, I think we all know uh, he's 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 lacking in that regard. So I don't imagine if his if his uh, if his lawyers have anything to do with it, that he's going to take the stand. But, you know, one thing we have seen from Donald Trump, he uh, he he makes his own calls. And lastly, and very briefly, as this begins today, were yeah. he to be convicted? No sure thing. And it could be it'll be yeah. weeks from now. What sort of sentence could he face? Could he actually be incarcerated? Yeah, he absolutely could be incarcerated. I think this is a, a, a decision that will uh, ultimately come down uh, to the judge, which is uh, why is a little bewildering if you step back and think about all of the ways he is antagonizing uh, Judge uh, Marshawn with these social media posts, when ultimately, assuming uh, as he faces a jury of his pills and they uh, of his peers, and if they find him uh, guilty, then the ultimate sentence is going to come down to Judge Juan Marchand, and you would mm -hmm. think he would not want to antagonize a person that uh, could either sentence him to, to jail or just sentence him to probation. We will, of course, have complete coverage of this on Morning Joe and all day long on MSNBC, the historic trial of Donald J. Trump. MSNBC Justice and Legal Affairs Analyst Anthony Coley, thank you for being with us this morning. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. 
you hit search on the bottom right corner, you type in MSNBC, you click on the MSNBC app, you click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.